Plus Care here in Flowood is one of the few locations that is offering walk-in COVID-19 testing. And as you can see behind me, people started showing up before they opened their doors, forming a line around the building, showing how much of a need there is for folks to have those vital tests. I was here at 725 and I was about ninth in line at that point. With COVID positive numbers going up, those we talked to say they were not surprised to see the line of people looking to get tested. I pass by here every morning and it looks like there's always lines here probably in the past week, week and a half, uh, about the same amount of people every morning, but it sounds like they just run this all day long. I mean, they said to come early because there would be a line and there was indeed a line. It's weird going all over town and seeing lines everywhere. I mean, you gotta take this COVID thing seriously. It's everywhere. For some of the folks waiting, it was their second day at the clinic because they either got turned away or the wait was too long. We came in at 11 o'clock yesterday morning and we didn't leave till 6 o'clock. And I had left before they even called, but my mother, she got tested. She didn't get called in until 6 o'clock that night. Yeah, I came yesterday, actually, and got turned away. They had cut a cutoff point. So I thought, wow, that's pretty weird, because before when I came, I was able to get, get in and get a test then. The lack of at-home rapid tests are also driving up the numbers of people going to clinics. Most places in the metro are sold out. My son last night went to uh, Walgreens and Walmart. It looks like they were, they were out of those home home test. I think the only thing that they saw was like a test that cost like over $100. Marcus Hunter, 16 WAPT News.